Hi, uh, my name is Jared Thorne. Uh, I live uh, in Columbus, Ohio, and I work between Columbus and South Africa. Uh, I used to live in South Africa for five years, and I often uh, am going back and forth as much as I can. Hi, yeah, one of the things uh, about my work is that it's very much uh, grounded in film um, as it relates to photography. Um, and so everything is really slowed down. I use a large format view camera. Uh, and with that, I think, comes a heavy emphasis on material. Yeah, there's something very tactile. Um, and everything I said before is just really slowed down. Uh, as it relates to a specific project, uh, I would say uh, the project I worked on called 26 Planned Parenthoods, um, I used that same camera, um, and it's a landscape project, and I really wanted to find uh, ways about uh, talking about subjectivity and identity within the landscape. Um, uh, Usually most of the work starts out with questions and um, I was asking myself like how can I find the politics uh, embedded within within the land? Um, how can I talk about identity and subjectivity uh, without people? So all the photographs are uh, without people. Um, I think very much they're speaking about um, the collective. So even though the, the, the human body is absent, uh, at the same time it's, it's very present. I photographed every Planned Parenthood facility um, in the state. Um, uh, one of the kind of devastating things about the project is that at one time there were 26. Now I believe there are 19 or 18 because I keep uh, shutting them down. Uh, I was very much interested in um, that kind of the front lines of, uh, of women's health and this idea why would we want to deny um, health care and health access to people. Um, I think really it's based on certain types of people. Um, I, I often kind of say that if uh, I think of Planned Parenthood facilities, uh, service people, whether it be in Upper Arlington or Indian Hill in Cincinnati or Hunting Valley in Cleveland, I wonder if people would be so against it, but what it does serve are disproportionately black and brown women in the state of Ohio. Um, and just, uh, I'd say, more disadvantaged, uh, economically challenged women across the state. And I think, generally speaking, uh, like so many things in our society, uh, black and brown men and women are, uh, are attacked, I think. Uh, as a result, uh, very much the project was, how can I speak to that? Um, I want to make work that I think... Uh, that speaks to black identity in nuanced ways. Um, and yeah, this idea of, yeah, what does that look like if, uh, if there's an absence of people? Is it still there? Are they implied? Um, and hopefully, I think in the work, uh, it starts to bring up these questions. And then why are they disappearing? Um, yeah. So it, it, obviously, this is happening at the same time where they're trying to. Uh, rip healthcare um, and say that it's not a right and I think the work really really questions that. Um, yeah I think so much of the world inspires me and I say that meaning um, it's really through literature, through journalism, uh, through books. Uh, I think just kind of inhaling and ingesting knowledge I think a lot of ways, uh, things that inspire me are my family, uh, and then just to be frank, like just black people in general. Like I'm amazed by people, like this is the dignity and grace. I think if I was an older black person, I'd just be irate, just simmering about the injustices that have gone on for, you know, centuries, but just in one's lifetime. And I, I just amazed by people like my parents who, who are honest. And, you know, they recognize what's going on in the world, but they, the way they handle it with dignity and grace and love for 
uh, not just black people, but all people, specifically for black people. Um, and so, you know, I think if I was some middle class white person, I think I'd be, I don't know, some lawyer trying to make partner somewhere, hopefully. Uh, but I think I've been really blessed being black and I don't have to do that. And I can say other things and have other experiences and really, yeah, strive to speak truth to power. That's what I'm interested in. And I think those things inspire me. I think the role of the artist is to follow one's path. And I think everyone's path is going to be different. Um, I think my, my path is very much like grounded in, in really trying to uh, reflect, black, reflect back uh, what I see. And so the work I make is fairly, I'd say highly political and I love it. And I wouldn't run from that in a heartbeat, but that's me following my path. And I think the role of the artist really is to follow your path. I don't want to say that one should negate the community, um, but I, I also think it's a heavy burden. And as the artist, you just need to make. And I think, you know, how can you not be influenced um, yeah, you're going to be influenced by so many things, but I think if one's really trying to speak to what's happening everywhere at every point in time, it, it, you can get stuck in your head and not make, and I think the role of the artist is to make the work that's in your heart and in your head and, and, and do it and do more of it. And I, I think, you know, I believe that the personal is political. And I think the more you come from that place, people in the community, maybe not everyone, but people in the community, the ones you're trying to reach, it, it'll reach them and it'll really hit. Yeah, I think if someone uh, saw my work 100 years from now, uh, I would hope it would make them think differently, I guess, about the early part of the 21st century as it relates to blackness, subjectivity, and identity in photography. Um, yeah, I, I would hope that it just opens up, it just expands, and they're just like, oh, okay, th th this dude, all right, he's trying to talk about class, huh, what is the role? So, okay, but he's black and he's talking about, you know, class and, and how these things are interwoven. And so, and then, then in other works, he's talking about like blackness and subjectivity, but there aren't any people. And so I would hope that it just kind of opens up the conversation. I hope people ask questions, but I mean, I hope that now, and I hope that in a hundred years, I just hope people see the work, they're like, okay, what, what's going on here? What is this about? And you know, I hope they just have some type of emotional response, um, positive or negative, but yeah, just, just get the ideas going and yeah. I, I, emotions are good. Um, yeah. Thanks.